Hemorrhoids, also called piles, are swollen veins in your anus and lower rectum, similar to varicose veins. Hemorrhoids can develop inside the rectum, internal hemorrhoids, or under the skin around the anus, external hemorrhoids. Nearly 3 out of 4 adults have hemorrhoids from time to time. The venous supply of the rectum is through 3 rectal veins, that is the superior, middle and inferior rectal vein. The superior rectal vein drains into the inferior mesenteric vein, the inferior rectal vein drains into the anterior pudental vein, and the middle rectal vein drains into the internal iliac vein. The dentate line is a line which divides the upper two thirds and the lower third of the anal canal. Developmentally, this line represents the hindgut productum junction. The superior, middle, and inferior rectal veins pierce the rectal walls to form perimuscular rectal venous plexus. The type of the type of anus. Next, going to the hemorrhoids anus. As you can see, we are going to focus on the external hemorrhoids. These are under the skin around your anus. Signs and symptoms might include itching or irritation in your anal region, pain or discomfort, swelling around your anus, and bleeding. Next, going to the internal hemorrhoids. Internal hemorrhoids lie inside the rectum. You usually can't see or feel them. They rarely cause discomfort, but straining or irritation when passing stool can cause painless bleeding during bowel movements. You might notice small amounts of bright red blood on your toilet tissue or in the toilet. A hemorrhoid to push through the anal opening resulting in pain and irritation. Internal hemorrhoids drain through the superior rectal vein into the portal system. Exterior hemorrhoids drain through the inferior rectal vein into the inferior vena cava. Rich anastomosis exists between these two and the middle rectal vein connecting the portal and the systemic circulations.